Hi guys, Nigel here again. Just a quick update on my lemon build mosquito. Right, if you remember in the last update, I got the the wood colour on, uh, and I can't remember where I painted the grey on it. Well, anyway, I got the wood colour on, and then I put some masking fluid, namely Humbrol mask on. Then I painted the camouflage all over grey with the green. All right, and this evening I just took the mask all off. Right, you ready? And there we are. As you can see, I've knocked all the paint off. At the moment, this is just, it's looking quite bare and quite a bit of a mess. But I'll go over it uh, and put like, make like some black soot marks, if you know what I mean, Where, like scorch marks and stuff like that. So if you can see, just on the on the engines and the radiators, the silver's coming through, and all the fuel tanks. Again, not I know it's not great, like lads. It's uh, it's gone half seven here in the evening. Uh, so you know, it's not. It's it's dark outside already. All right. Like I said, all the metal parts once have got that that burn, so there's only odd places. Yeah. So now all I've got to figure out is how to do the decals. So what I'd probably do, I'll probably put them on, and where the burnt off, I'll. Uh, paint the the brown colour on okay and even where the it's not on I will paint some of the green coming through maybe dry brush it on to make it look like as if it's it start to burn off you know and start to bubble maybe a bit type thing if I can see where it works or not I don't know apart from on the wing obviously they should be fine uh, and the no walk parts on the radiators. Also I've got to do the the nose and the canopies yet uh, but I've run out of one six, my 165 so I've got to nip to shop or something and pick up another one. So even though I've got this far along on this it might not be finished for a while unfortunately until I can afford well, not afford to, can actually physically get to uh, somewhere where I can pick some up. Because uh, I'm all, like I said, I'm doing the course, so my time is very, very tight at the moment. I'm not getting back home until about 6 o'clock in the evening. Right, see there on the tail, the tail? Just exactly the same. Uh, I forgot to put some on, on the horizontal stabiliser, but I'll probably just make that all with some with the brown okay so there we are that is my rebel mosquito on the final stretch I hope touch wood okay as for the tail I think not I've just put it a quick paint and what I've been it's gonna be I've done it personally a little bit rough okay because obviously, you know, it would have got burnt, it might have got burnt a little bit or whatever, or, you know, you know what I mean? It got uh, a bit burnt, and uh, as it was flying along, some debris might have clinged to it from the paint and what have you. So, yeah, that's it for now, fellas. Uh, uh, just a couple of things. One, I'd like to say thank you to Scale Model Alberta for his prize giveaway. I won the half track, which is, I'm really looking forward to doing. Also, I've never done any armour or anything. I normally do play it. And I was speaking to Colin from on ISM last night, and he said it's actually an anti-aircraft gun. So, in the future, it won't be until I've won and built it. It might be in the future, as long as I can keep it in good nick and what have you, 
I might do a little dial with it, with that, maybe shooting down an aircraft or or something like that. Um, and thank you for ISM. I won the What Is It competition with, I can't remember who it was, <laughs> Chief Denora Centurion Mark III tow hook. Now, uh, but basically what I did, I recognised the, the paint, basically the, the green, because our four threes when I was in Germany was painted with that, so obviously I put down a four three first and then I went and did uh, some some research of basically British armour uh, tow hooks and lo and behold what I saw a a video no sorry it was a photo journal of someone who just bought one down in Australia well not just bought one it was, must have been a couple of years ago or whatever but I saw a photo journal and he was taking it off the back of the truck to take it up to his farm or storage area where he keeps them so obviously he took it off the truck and what have you and he had plenty of photos around it and it had one clear shot of the towing, the towing up and I thought there it is so that's that done my phone keeps slipping better uh, yeah so that's that done so I, I've won the little Spitfire Mark 9, Airfix Spitfire Mark 9 172. What I'm going to do with that, I'm not going to build it. That will be one of my son's build. So, from me and him, we both like to say thank you. Uh, I will do a photo and put it on the ISM uh, web, uh, website once I get the model. Uh, I will also do a little inbox review of it and I will do an inbox review of the model I'm going from Scale Model Alberta. Yeah, so, I wish I put lottery on last night, might have won something. Is that it from me? I think it, not done much on the Mirage as yet. Uh, because obviously, like I said, I've been, I've been busy and last night, I was absolutely shattered. Really, really was shattered. Because uh, I, I had to do some more revision for a test I had today, which I passed which was, I'm quite happy about. So that's two tests out of the way, two more to do, and a couple of practical tests. Yes. And then hopefully I can find a job. Fingers crossed. Uh, can't really think of anything else at the moment. So, saying that, I'll say bye-bye, and I will see you next time. All right, ta guys.